please trigger functions. Number one. Number one. Sine 35 degree equals x. Find cos 1 to 5 degree. Okay. The uh, tip of 10. 1 to 5. 1 to 5 degree. So we need to find this angle. 180 minus 1 to 5 equal to 55 here is 55 degree okay so cos cos uh, 1 to 5 is equal to this one is in angle uh, quadrant 2 so quadrant 2 for cos is negative negative cos 55 okay you try to find Value for cos 55 using the triangle. Okay, triangle. Uh, sine 35. 35 sine x over 1. Okay, by using Pythagoras theorem, this is 1 minus x squared. So, if here is 35 degree, okay, this angle okay, is 90 degree minus 35 is equal to 55. So here is 55 degree. So um, for cos, cos 55, cos 55 degree, so is equal to x over 1. Okay, x over 1. So this is equal to O1 or is equal to X. So is equal to negative X. That is negative X. So the answer is negative X. Number two. Okay, this one is expand. Expand. Got X squared plus got X squared. times tangent x squared and this one is equal to cot x squared plus 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 this one is 1 over tangent x squared times tangent x squared so cancel cancel is equal to 1 okay so cot x squared plus 1 okay cot x squared plus 1 is equal to cosecant x squared using the identity. Okay, still remember the identity. Cos x squared plus sine x squared is equal to 1. 1 plus tangent x squared is equal to second x squared. And cot tangent x squared plus 1 is equal to cosecant x squared. Now this is cotangent plus 1 cotangent plus 1 is equal to So the answer is this one. Okay. Number 3 cos cos 3x plus cos x. This is um, sum to product. Okay sum to product using the factor formula when c plus c is equal to 2cc okay means this one is equal to 2 cos 3x plus x okay cos 3x minus x okay should uh, divide by 2 Divide by 2 So how to remember that one This is 2 When this one is 2 You need to divide here Okay Right Then simplify 2 Cos 4x to x Turn to x over 2 Cos x Answer is 2 Cos 2x Cos x This is the answer Okay Settle Okay This one is Tangent Okay 
tangent x plus 25 degrees equal to negative tangent 50 degree. You cannot write this one. Eh? Assume this one is equal to this one. This is okay. What should you do is okay. Let's say you find tangent tangent 50 degrees equal to uh, 1.192 means here this one okay so it's equal to you you're going to find tangent x plus 25 degree is equal to negative 1.192 okay same like this so you need to follow the four steps first step is find basic angle basic angle so this one is tangent alpha is equal to negative this one ignore negative uh tangent 50 okay so because of the same term one term one term therefore alpha is equal to 50 degree uh, you can check eh? you can check uh, tangent alpha is equal to 1.192 Find alpha at tangent is equal to 50. Okay, so the second step is range. Range, given range is uh, x lies from negative 180 to 180. Now check, this one is x plus 25. x plus 25 means everything need to plus 25. Negative 180 plus 25 is equal to negative 155. Here is uh, 205. So, uh, do the number line. Number line is 205 positive, 0, and so is negative 155. Actually, you may ignore just for the first part. Huh? Okay. And uh, you have two different answers, one negative, one positive. Okay, one part negative. Okay, sketch simple uh, plane. So you need to show that uh, when you want to negative from here, start to follow the clockwise direction up to here. Up to here. This so one is until 155. So they can I proceed to 180, oh, it's okay. Let's proceed to 180. Let's follow this one. Eh? This uh, raised. Okay. And then the second is on the right hand side. Okay, this one is positive, positive part. Just sketch a simple plane. Okay, follow the anti-clockwise direction up to 205. Okay. 205. And then check. And the third step is check the uh, quadrant quadrant okay the quadrant is um, this one tangent just before you take the uh, basic angle tangent negative tangent negative means that uh, the x the angle lies in the second and fourth quadrant second and fourth quadrant and draw the line line uh, this is line okay and this is uh, alpha and line alpha okay so you have two points first this is one answer for positive so one answer for negative part and the fourth is first step is list okay list all the angle so your angle is okay check before you take the basic angle x plus 25 so here is x plus 25 degree so the first one this one starting here follow clockwise up to here alpha alpha is 50 okay so because of this one is follow but uh, negative here is negative okay so this is negative follow clockwise direction you need to give in negative 50 and then the second point is here okay so from starting from here reach to this point follow anti clockwise direction 180 minus alpha is equal to 130 this one is positive so this answer positive 
A4 X is equal to 25 bring here so that negative 75 degree and 105 degree so answer is negative 75 105 negative 75 and 105 so this is the answer okay Number 5, 2 cos 2 theta squared is equal to half. 2 cos 2 theta squared is equal to half. Simplify cos 2 theta squared is equal to 1 over 4. Then cos 2 theta is equal to plus minus 1 over 2. Okay, then you have two cases. Okay, two cases. The first case is cos 2 theta is equal to negative half this one is the case is cos 2 theta is equal to positive okay positive half then follow the four steps okay first step find basic angle the okay, basic angle is cos alpha is equal to half ignore so theta ignore negative so alpha is equal to uh, 60 of uh, pi over 3 given in radian you have to change in radian mode okay and the second is range range here is from 0 to pi okay range theta lies between 0 to pi Okay, and check. Okay. Check. Oh, given to theta. You have to multiply 2. Okay, multiply 2. Plus is 2 pi. So, your range now is, uh, you see the simple plane, from 0 to 2 pi. Okay. Uh, follow anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction because of given in positive. The third is, Quadrant Quadrant Check And before you find This angle Check Oh This one is Cos Negative Cos negative Means that The theta lies In the second And third quadrant Cos negative So write down The line Here And here Here is basic angle Alpha Alpha So your answer Should be One and two answers. Okay, two answers. Then list out the answers. Okay, before you list out, check. Oh, this is using two data. Okay, now number four is list the answer. Starting two data. Two data is equal to. Okay, so you uh, we need to uh, take this answer, this point. So starting here. Follow anticlockwise up to here. Pi minus here is pi over three. Is it pi over three? Yes. Okay. So pi minus pi over three. The second point is pi plus pi over three. Then simplify. Pi minus pi over three is two pi over three. So it's 4 pi over 3 Therefore, theta is equal to Pi over 3 2 pi over 3 Okay, settle for this part The second case Okay, using the same method Follow the four uh, steps The first is Find basic angle Basic angle is Cos alpha is equal to half Alpha is equal to pi over 3. The second step is range. Range. Range same like this. Theta given 0 to pi. But now it's 2 theta times 2. Times 2. Theta 2 pi. So do the simple plane. Starting here up to here. Follow anti-clockwise direction. Because also it's positive. Then the third is quadrant. 
check quadrant quadrant and check out this is cos positive cos positive means that theta lies in the first and fourth quadrant then okay okay line the line line so the answer is here and here two answers and eh? two points means that two answers and number four is list down the answers and before you list down check oh this is use this one two theta right two theta here two theta is equal to here is alpha 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 is pi over three so pi over three the first point the second point is pi two pi minus pi over three okay Divide pi over 3 This one is 5 pi over 3 Therefore, theta is equal to pi over 6 5 pi over 6 Okay, so you need to combine the two answers, the two cases Therefore, theta is uh, pi over 6 pi over 3 2 pi over 3 And 5 pi over 3 6 Check answer This one not the answer the answer Pi over 6 Pi over 3 Pi over 6 Pi over 3 2 pi over 3 5 over 6 okay, This is the answer Okay settle Number 6 if theta is acute angle such that uh, cos theta is 3 over 5 then sin, then sin theta times cos tangent theta minus 1 over 2 tangent plus squared okay cos okay this one is uh, right angle theta cos is 3 over 5 I just uh, write the triangle like this eh, so that you know because of always Cos is x over r. x over r. Now, using the Pythagoras theorem, this is wrong. Okay. So, here you can list down sine theta is equal to 4 over 5. Tangent theta is equal to 4 over 3. Y over x. Okay. Then, this is question. Sine theta, tangent theta minus 1 over 2 tangent theta squared is equal to sine theta is 4 over 5 tangent theta is 4 over 3 minus 1 over 2 tangent theta is 4 over 3 squared if I 16 over 15 minus 1 then 16 times 2 32 over 9 Okay, simplify this one is uh, 1 over 15 times 9 over 32 and okay you can use a calculator and get answer is 3 over 160 3 over 160 is This one is 1 over 1 minus cos theta 1 plus cos We're going to use this concept uh, 1 minus a 1 plus a is equal to 1 minus a Okay, so now this one is equal to 1 over 1 minus cos theta Okay, using the identity Identity, this one is equal to sine. Okay, so one over sine theta using the identity. Identity is cos theta squared plus sine theta squared is equal to one. Then this one is equal to one of the sine squared is equal to cosecant theta squared. Cos second theta square, this one sign cancel, cos cancel second cancel, that's this one. Okay, 
Oke, okay, betul. Number 8. Evaluate sign A plus B where A, B both in the second quadrant. If sign A equals X, cos A is equal to, cos B is equal to negative X. Okay, better case cash simple diagram not triangle this is for x sorry this is um, angle angle a sine a is equal to x x over 1 so this one using the Pythagoras theorem there is 1 minus x squared and the, the adjacent okay. and then one more triangle one more triangle one is for B angle, cos B is equal to X over 1. Ignore negative. Negative will show the second quadrant for cos. Okay. So here using the Pythagoras theorem, we get 1 minus X squared. So I use the same triangle so that you know uh, for sine Y minus Y over R and for cos is X. Eh? Uh, as is X over R. So here, uh, start the uh, answer this way. Fine. Sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B using the compound angle. Yeah, compound angle. Okay. Now substitute the value sine A X. Yeah, X. Cos B negative X Cos B Cos B negative X Then from here Cos A Cos A Is Third one minus X squared over 1 1 over this So answer is Third Okay here Okay So third uh, square root of 1 minus x squared because of cos cos in the second quadrant cos is negative okay and this one find the sine sine b sine b is sine b is okay this opposite third 1 minus x squared over hypotenuse okay So, this is third one minus x squared. Then, simplify negative x squared. Okay, this one plus minus, minus, third, third, okay, cancel, one minus x squared. Okay, negative x squared minus one plus x squared is equal to negative one. Answer is negative one. Number 9, 1 over 1 plus sine A plus 1 over 1 minus sine A. Simplify, okay, within the denominator, 1 minus sine A plus 1 plus sine A over 1 plus sine A times 1 minus sine A. And here is cancel, cancel, cancel. Answer is 2 over. Now for this one, I use the concept 1 plus a times 1 minus a is equal to 1 minus a squared. Okay, here, okay. Now the answer is 1 minus sine a squared. Using the uh, identity. Here, this one is equal to cos. Okay, cos. So, 2 over cos A squared. So, 2 times second A squared. Answer is 2 second A squared. Okay. Number 10. Okay. Okay. 
t given t equals tangent x over 2 express sine x in terms of t okay starting tangent x we're going to use double angle this is x over 2 this is x so tangent x is equal to tangent x over 2 plus tangent x over 2 over 1 minus tangent x over 2 times tangent x over 2 so using the uh, compound angle tangent a plus b is equal to tangent a plus tangent b over 1 minus tangent a tangent b now a is equal to x over 2 b also is equal to x over 2 and substitute tangent x over 2 is equal to t t plus t over 1 minus t times t so 2t two, two over 1 minus t squared using the triangle okay this is x x x angle x so value for angle x is 2t over 1 minus t squared using the Pythagoras theorem okay this hypothesis is equal to 1 plus t squared Okay. And then sine Sine x is equal to This x and sine x is equal to 2t opposite over okay. So answer is 2t over 1 plus t squared 2t here Over 1 plus t squared So done